Hi, I'm Hayley Solich from Heart Called Ministries and I have a message for you that's just a passionate message today. Jesus, when he died, he went into hell and Hades and he got the keys of sin and death. He conquered death. He conquered sin when he rose again from the dead. And you know what? When he rose again from the dead, so did you. And so did I. And every sin you and I would ever commit was taken care of in that moment. And you know what? He, if we look at the Old Testament, we see that worship was such a, a difficult process. You know, there was killing of lambs. There was the shedding of blood for the atonement of sin. There was this whole rigmarole that, that the children of Israel had to go through to please God. But in one act... It says that Jesus died once and for all, for all time, forever. It says that we cannot be able to win our salvation any other way but by the blood of Jesus. There is no other sacrifice. He was the ultimate sacrifice. So today, if you're sitting in shame and blame and guilt, he's saying, hello, I've done all that you need. What are you doing? Come to the party. You know, Jesus has made this way. And if we look at the Old Testament, part of the ritual was there was a holy of holies and it was curtained off. And that was because people who went there, if they weren't blameless, they died. It was a pretty scary place. And the priests even going and ministering in there, they would put a rope and a bell on their ankle so that if they perished, they could pull them out. And while that bell was ringing, they knew that they were okay. But the minute it went quiet... You know, they knew the worst had happened. We don't have to go through that. Aren't you excited about that? Aren't you just the least bit excited that God has rent the veil and that you and I have this amazing opportunity to come before the Father, to know Him, to love Him, to have intimacy and interaction with Him, that we don't have to go through a third party. I am so grateful for the martyrs that came before me, that fought for me to have the Bible in a language that I could understand, that removed it from just being the privileged and the priests that understood God. Jesus came and he died. These martyrs came and they've shed their blood as well, that we could have freedom. Freedom in 2013 to understand God. Freedom in 2013 to reach in and know the Father. And freedom in every day that comes in the future to be in relationship with God. That's what Jesus was about. It's not about rules and regulations. There is one rule. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, your mind and your body. And I want to encourage you that worship is just an expression of that love. The Bible tells us that even if we didn't utter another breath in worship of God, that the trees and the fields would clap their hands, that the whole of creation would make a song of praise unto God. But aren't you glad that He doesn't limit it to them? That He doesn't take away this opportunity that we have to bless the Father? That He doesn't say only the trees in the field can worship me, but instead He calls out to the rocks and the galaxies and the planets, and he calls out to you and to me. And he says, come. Come and experience the joy of worship. Come and experience the joy of praise. Because this is what Jesus won for us. When he died on that cross, when he died on that cross, he won for us the opportunity to know and love God. To know and love the Father. I'm so grateful for that opportunity. I'm so, so, so grateful. And all to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give. Worldly pleasures all forsaken. In His presence daily live. Cause I
I thank you and I pray a blessing upon every person that sees this video. I pray that worship would come into their hearts and their minds and every day there would be a cry that would rise up from within, a deep calling, deep experience for them, that they would know the joy, the fantastic joy of worshipping Father God, of being touched by His Spirit, of knowing Him. In Jesus' name I ask this, and I thank you for your sacrifice, Lord. Amen.